very, very dynamic vehicle with very, very dynamic body lines. My name is Marek Reichman. I'm Design Director for Aston Martin. The side strike feature has a lot of attack and a lot of angle, but that's balanced with the roof line, so you have a balanced attitude to the car. There's a light catcher that hugs the car onto the ground and emphasizes the attack of these upper lines, hints at our racing heritage and hugging the car to the ground. If we look at the front of the car, these dynamic lines and angles really point the car down towards the ground and emphasize the whip. The new wheel design, diamond turned feature on the wheels, really emphasizing the strength and power of these spokes. Beautiful sculpting to really emphasize the muscularity of the car. The new carbon diffuser, which has an aero effect blade, because we have this down here, we also need to have this extra flip to create the downforce to really put this car down on the road surface. My name's Ian Minards. I'm Director of Product Development here at Aston Martin. Very important part is our all new Sport Shift 2 transmission. It's a seven speed automated manual, single clutch transmission. What that allows us to do is to keep the engine on song in the sweet spot for more of the time. You're closer as you accelerate through the gears to that 5,000 RPM maximum torque element of the car. Deep down at the front of the car are the valved air boxes, technology that we originally used on the DBS. Those air boxes have a separate flap that opens up a high engine RPM, allows more air into the engine, helping to liberate that power. The steering has had a major transformation, and the important bit is the ratio of the rack. On the standard car, it's 17 to 1. On this car, it's 15 to 1. That gives you a much quicker, more sensitive feel to the steering. You can really position this car into the bend. Bilstein dampers optimizing the balance between the springing and the damping. So a little bit firmer on the ride, but the handling when you get into the bends, you get the car riding level, poised and balanced. <laughs> front brake disc. This is a larger diameter disc than the standard car. This is a six pot, a six cylinder brake caliper. The disc itself is floating. It's a mixture of cast iron and aluminium. But more important from an engineering point of view is what we've done with the width of the wheel and the width of the tire. 10 millimeters wider on both the front wheel and on the rear wheel. It gives you more grip when you're accelerating. It gives you more grip when you're braking. And it gives you more grip when you're going around the bends. 